is Sunday night. We are leaving the shop. Pretty busy today for walk-in. It's uh, just cool to watch things happen, you know, as people discover that I'm here and they just come get tattooed and they're like, holy shit, I can't believe I just found the spot. In a few months, it's gonna be super busy and not as hidden gem, but right now, it's a hidden gem and I really like that. Everyone who came here today was super stoked. Mission accomplished, Sunday night. Gonna go home, take some dabs, hang out with the dogs, Alex and her mom. Come back tomorrow to deal with the toilet. So, uh, <laughs> fucking life, dude. God or the gods, whatever you wanna believe in. Oh cool, my car definitely didn't charge last night. Oh, perhaps that is the uh, gods just trying to fuck with you. See if they can shake you. Well, you can't shake me, bitch. It almost just backed into the garage door. I'll tell you, yesterday I went and got the podcast table. You know how hard it is to find a wood table in this day and age, in the dystopia that we live in, brought to you by Ikea. Yeah, it's hard. So nice, solid wood table for the podcast, which may or may not <laughs> be a good idea. I may just end up rambling about the state of the world. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I struggle these days to know what to even think. <laughs> Try not to hit Alex's car. So, fucking garage, come on. Uh, <laughs> yesterday I got the podcast table. I'm putting it together. I go into the spare bathroom that does not have a toilet on it yet. We, but we did chop off the pipe. Let me make this gross ass story a lot shorter. Uh, there was sewage coming out of the pipe into the floor. So I had to clean that all night long. I've been there cleaning bleaching all this now granted it's the unfinished bathroom and it's not part of the shop but man hopefully we're not gonna walk into a flooded shop full of uh poop emojis sometimes maybe all the time life is just it's like humans wanting to adapt a comfortable life has caused the most frustration in all of existence it's like all this pretty things like the pretty trimmed yards and the trees and the nice roads and <clears throat> everything the makeup the haircuts the veneer everything it's all it's all fake it all takes effort none of it's natural we're doing this so you know what happens things fall apart the only thing you can do is not be one of those things you have to keep it together and i am not preaching to you because i'm not a motivational quote i am talking to myself because there are some days where I just want to fucking lose it. There's no issues, everything's fine. I mean, you can't use the bathroom in here right now, but uh, other than that, everything's cool. It could've been a lot worse, but the plumber's here in the morning to fix that. Find my groove over here, and with everything else I'm doing, it seems to be going pretty good. We got one week in the bucket, great start. See you tomorrow. It's Monday morning. Kevin, the plumber, is on the way. He also just had a child. Another child that had surgery. You know, everyone in life is just going through the craziness. I've been listening to a lot of Greek mythology while I draw and paint. In some ways, helping me cope with how crazy things are. Because that shit was only invented to help people cope with how crazy things were. Let's see, today's Monday. The shop's supposed to be closed. Eh, got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm doing a little $50 off card for all the dispensaries here. And uh, I'm going to pass those around to all the employees, take care of the community. And then I'll probably put some around town, people to find on campus, stuff like that. Just uh, bringing the fun in to the whole situation. The Willy Wonka of tattooing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is nighttime. It is 8.30. But I have a bunch of stuff to do with like getting these business cards made and aftercare sheets. A lot of throwback things happening lately. And one of those is that there's a Mad Greens across the street. So your boy back on a salad game. There's also a crumble cookies over there. So, you know, balance, they say. <laughs> Kevin came, we got the new toilet on. So we gotta get this bathroom fixed up, just the little stuff that needs to get done. But the uh, plumbing debacle is over with. Yeah, and then yesterday, I don't think there's a cop sitting out here, but police station is right behind the tattoo shop. So yesterday, someone robbed a jewelry store. And then I guess they ran to the CBD spot down the block, but cops was up in here yesterday. Yeah, 
It is what it is. Today we're about to do some tats. We have some drawing to do, of course. Uh, we're getting a new lookbook ready in the same time for friends and family. Living life, buddy. Getting the shop going. Staying off the internet as much as possible. That's pretty much it. I'm trying to get Dirty Aaron out here. A fool keeps saying he's coming and then I just see pictures of him hiking. There's Thursday, so Thursday, Thursday night. Got a couple of walk-ins today, people checking out the shop. Big tattoo tomorrow, tattoo Saturday this weekend, and then just uh, some days off to get ready because Alex and her mom are going out of town. They are going to Montana. Yeah, this is life right now. I'm painting every day. I want every sheet up in here to be mine. So that's a lot of sheets and we got a lot of work to do. Friday morning, handle and biz. You know what I'm saying, know what we're doing. We got the aftercare cards and the little business cards, and the little discount cards. This jammer right here, gotta fix this drawing this morning. Pay some bills, do some stuff, finish this other flash sheet. Another weekend about to start. It will be interesting. We have appointments all weekend. People keep coming in, like I keep saying, like every day there's new people. Exciting, exciting stuff. Still a lot of work to do, constantly probably for years, which I think is important. You know, having something to just dive into, bury yourself in, whatever you want to call it, I think is important. What do I need to do? Pay for my car. Still don't have the podcast room all the way set up. We got the table, but we had the bathroom emergency and all these things happen. So my plan is to get this all fixed up. And I got the lights out, we got the cameras out, we got everything. So Dirty Urn is trying to fly out the beginning of May so we can have a podcast again. Getting all these sheets replaced. I think I've done like 16 sheets and couple of weeks which is good family life you know we've had this huge adjustment we we're still adjusting all the time it's you know a lot <laughs> you know our lives changed so dramatically a few months ago that still sometimes we have to just stop and be like whoa you know like a lot has happened are you happy, are you happy you moved back from back here from vegas um yeah i mean i hate vegas yeah sure <laughs> but the circumstances of our i mean we didn't really plan to move to Boulder, and I definitely wasn't planning on doing a shop. <laughs> uh, so I guess like I'm just making the best of the situation or whatever, but yeah. I'm definitely not, I'm glad I'm not in Vegas, but uh, it is what it is, you know, it's life. I had plenty of years where I made all the choices, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll take what I'm getting for now. You know?
this Saturday. It's super busy this morning. I keep calling it an ice cream machine, ice cream cooler on the way, which we're gonna put ice cream in and merch. I have appointments, I have a sleeve to work on, I have three girls coming back for tattoos, and I'm sure there's gonna be walk-ins. It's great as a one-man thing, I like, I'm fine with it, but I am gonna have to hire a tattooer. Uh, at least one, if not two eventually and then for me there's still a lot of work to do so i'm constantly 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 working on it um which is great it gives me purpose it gives me drive and i'm really happy i mean even if you look back for the last like year or two of vlogs i'm like man i wish i had time to paint i wish i had time to make more art it's like i was yearning for um to get back to the life that i had before uh, i took a nosedive into sneakers and youtube pretty happy uh given the circumstances of life and how crazy things have gotten on to the day beautiful day i got this new machine recorded this yesterday but i had the mic off this is the bishop wand power liner this is the old FK irons for all my techno nerds out there. You have two of those. This is the old charging batteries. And there's a cord too, like this just pops off. It's magnetic. So it's pretty sick. I'm real excited to use it. It's specifically for lining. Basically the liner hits harder and has a longer stroke. Most of you aren't gonna know what I'm talking about. Probably a really good color pack or two. Probably not for someone who's just starting out, but dude, I've been tattooing now 23 years. So I can pretty much tattoo with anything and I'm excited to tattoo with this thing. Also, shout out to, shout out to Sal. Feel free to send gifts to the shop. Figurines, cash, DMT. I don't know, I'm just kidding, whatever. Don't, don't send any DMT to the shop. Um, I, I didn't really plan anything to say, but I, this community is just so cool, and we're just really glad that we're out here with you guys, and thanks everybody who spoke for my dad and all you guys for supporting him. You know, as a kid growing up and skiing with my dad, which I did a lot, it was always really annoying, because anywhere we'd go, he'd run into people and be like, Oh yeah, the talk when you talked about blah blah, and we did the do do, and I'd be like, "Are we skiing today?" Or you know, but consequentially, at the same time, I'd get to ski with some really good skiers, so that's pretty cool. Um, and also, the biggest thing is, in hindsight, after losing my dad, the biggest thing is that he did stop and take the time with all of you, because he really loved you, and he loved this sport so much. And I don't think, as much as he would really appreciate this recognition, I don't think he cared about it all that much. I think he really just wanted everybody to have a good time on the mountain. The thing I remember him telling me the most growing up skiing is, oh, did you feel that? Did you feel that when you went this way and you're like lifted? Did you feel it? Yeah, yeah, it's great, isn't it? And that's, I think that's really just what he wanted to help everybody share is, you know, skiing's really flippin' fun, and the better you are at it, the more fun it gets, because it takes the fear away, and the better you can explain that to people, the more fun it can be for all of us. So thanks to all of you for teaching people how to ski. 